Hey guys, welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks so much for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. And I mean, honestly, at this point, it's like they're not even on reality TV. Kim, she's going to be on another reality show soon, The Surreal Life. But anyway... <laughs> They just need to like completely split because the amount of times the cops keep having to come over to that community, I'm quite sure the neighbors are tired of seeing the police cars rolling up in front of their home, bringing down the property values (laughs) of the other surrounding homes because it's, it's getting to be like an episode of Cops where people are going out to the mobile home park, like really because of the fights that are going on. It's just crazy. But recently it was reported that Brielle actually called the cops after another Kim and Croy fight. Um, Recently it was reported that a judge split the home, basically saying, okay, you live on one side and you live on the other side because the property is big enough for the both of you to stay in. But when it comes to situations like this, I don't care how huge the property is, the, the space is very small. And you just really need to be in separate quarters because this is absolutely ridiculous. So Reality T is reporting the situation between Kim and Croy grows more concerning each day. What started as simple relationship drama between the former Don't Be Tardy stars have snowballed into something scarier. Throughout the debacle, all of the commentators had one thing in mind, the children. No matter what Kim and Croy had to go through, everyone was concerned about what their kids might go through as a result. That concern extends to the couple's adult children, including Brielle Behrman. Recently, body cam footage came out showing Brielle interacting with police after a domestic incident on August 27th. The incident should never have involved Brielle, let alone happen at all. Radar Online obtained the footage of Brielle answering the police at the door after a fight between Kim and Croy. When Brielle answered the door, she explained to the police that both Kim and Croy denied calling the police. Brielle confirmed that she had called once between other calls. The daughter went to fetch her parents, but they wouldn't come to the door. The officers insisted they see the couple. You call for a reason, right? One of them asked Brielle. I just heard chaos, she confirmed, saying her first instinct was to call the authorities. She further explained she couldn't quite hear what was being said besides a lot of FUs and whatever. She said neither she nor her sister saw anything physical. Eventually, Kim Kim came out and spoke to the officers, insisting that we're good and trying to say she had to catch a flight. She also confirmed, I was yelling. She further insisted she had to pack. The officer suggested she move her flight to the next day, as Brielle had previously implied, and they also offered to stand by if Kim felt that she was needed, and after that, they left. And listen, Kim is no punk, but she's a woman. Croy, he's no longer playing for the NFL, but he was a football player. I'm not saying he's sitting around there laying hands on her, but I can only imagine the fights that are going on. The fact that you're in this huge place and you're yelling so loudly that your adult daughter is like, enough is enough and I'm calling the cops. That... I believe is is scary. I don't care like what age you are, but especially little kids because they have younger children too. So to have all of that going on and the cops consistently coming around, like you're making it seem like it's a normal thing for these little kids to see this type of stuff. And this is not normal. This is not good. They really just need to split, like be in separate places, period. And although I feel, in my personal opinion, that Croy would be the better fit to be the custodial parent because of just the things that we know about Kim, if not her gambling addiction alone, because it is an addiction, it's just the the frivolousness of her life where it's not like 
the children are that much of a priority. Like she's telling the cops, I got a flight I got to catch, so I need to pack. You know what I mean? I don't hear anything about the children. It's it's just like, are you going somewhere and you're taking your children with you? Or is this something that you're just doing on your own? Because it's also been reported that she paid $30,000 for vaginal surgery in spite of the money issues that are going on right now. So... It's like, what in the world is going on? So when you have all of this debt, the last thing that you should be paying for is plastic surgery. But this story is being reported by Reality T. Kim and Croy, they are going through this divorce, but she's thinking about her next move. So she is getting her vagina rejuvenated. It's crazy. Dr. Matlock at Visthetic Surgery Institute and Med Spa did her vaginal rejuvenation. And people were wondering how much it cost to get that done. And Dr. Matlock said the price point is $30,000. The physician said, for patients with a history of multiple childbirths, experiencing stress, urinary incontinence, and vaginal relaxation, our laser vaginal rejuvenation treatment is available. The comprehensive fee, which covers the surgery center, anesthesiologist, and surgeon, typically ranges from 25 to 30 K. He couldn't comment on the exact cost of Kim's multiple procedures because we do not disclose specific pricing details related to any individual patient. That said, it costs a lot of money and Kim paid in full. And there were other treatments as well. She also has skin tightening treatments and those generally range between 12 to 15 K and it aims to achieve 50 to 60% skin tightening. And that's not all. She's got the follow-up appointments. So right now, Kim and Croy owe $103,564.48 to the government for the years 2013 Three hundred and thirty thousand one hundred and twenty six dollars and twenty nine cents for twenty seventeen and seven hundred and fourteen thousand one hundred and forty three dollars and ninety cents for twenty eighteen. They also have casino debts in the Bahamas and they have multiple credit card debts and the house is scheduled for foreclosure, which they did put it out for sale. I don't know if that's going to work and. Their Rolls Royce got repossessed. So, child, I mean, if this is what living broke looks like, where do you sign up? Where you just get to live in a mansion, (laughs) get your body done, have IRS and, and credit card debts and casino debts and all of these other debts outstanding, but you're living life like this? And how? How? Where? Why? Who? What? (laughs) I mean, seriously, this is absolutely insane. So you got the cops continuously knocking, knocking, knocking on your door and you're getting your body done. This is absolutely insane. I am just like so done with these people. I don't even know what to tell you. And when I say these people, no, I know Krim, Krim, (laughs) Croy is not out here getting plastic surgery procedures and stuff like this, but something's got to give. I don't even know. Well, yeah, they have four children together. So I guess it would not be good for him to leave the place and abandon the children because legally he cannot take the children. So I guess I understand. I just don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it, but I cannot feel sorry for him 
if I feel sorry for anyone, I feel empathy for anyone, it is the children because his mom tried to warn him. I'm not about the the mama's boy thing or the mothers of men who want to interfere and get all involved in their son's relationships and nobody is good enough for them and, and trying to you know prevent them from moving on with their lives. I'm not about that type of stuff. But there are some women that have wisdom and they can see the forest for the trees. They can they can see the difference between whores versus women. And I believe that his mom and sister tried to warn him and he wouldn't listen. And yeah, it took a long time, but it eventually came to fruition. And now he's seeing it and is living in that regret. They tried to warn him. But this is the freaking person that you married. This woman doesn't care about anyone but herself. And it's just absolutely, utterly disgusting. And I'm just like, wow, this is crazy. So yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.